Hello there, this is Russ Bucher with Control My Nikon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can do post-processing of your captured images with a batch file. So this is not to be confused with the batch workflow within Control My Nikon, but rather we're referring to using an actual DOS-based batch file. That's one of those text files you use to do different commands on the operating system. Now using a batch file for post-processing allows you to, as soon as the image is captured, maybe rename it or move it to another folder somewhere, or even start processing it in another application. So that saves you a lot of manual steps if you're needing to do that quite often. Let's take a look at how you can configure it. Now the actual batch file you use is set up here in the Tools menu, Preferences, and the Miscellaneous tab. And it's right down here. So here we have a batch file. Control My Nikon comes with a sample batch file for this purpose and it's called export.bat. And this is just a simple test batch file that allows you to test the batch functionality. Once you finish testing it, then you can create your own batch file and use that for your post-processing. Let's take a look at this batch file. We can see here it's in the main installation folder of Control My Nikon export.bat and I'm just going to open it up in notepad and all this batch file does is clears the screen and displays the first parameter the second parameter the third parameter and then copies this file to another folder I'm just going to add a command here to pause it so we can see what it has done. The simplest way to test a batch file is go to the image browser and select an image, right click on it and select run batch file. Okay, let's see what it did. So here's that batch file we're looking at earlier, and all that batch file did was echo or show the first parameter, which is the entire path of the file. So it has the folder and the file and the extension. The second parameter is the file name with the extension, and the third parameter is just the extension. We have this third parameter here just in case you might want to do certain kinds of processing with certain kinds of file extensions. Then the file is copied from this location to this location and the copy was completed and then it has paused. So I could press another key and normally you wouldn't put a pause here at the end of your batch file once you're done testing it. Okay, let's try another. So right click, run batch file, and it's done. I'm just going to take a look at that folder that we copied the files to. And this is the folder, and here's our files. C drive, folder number one, and the two files. So this is a good way to test it. And you can always just come back here and run your batch file with any one of the images you've already captured. However, you might want to run the batch file automatically immediately after the image has been saved to your hard drive. So let's go up to the Tools menu, Preferences, Miscellaneous, and put a check mark here so it auto-launches the batch file after capture. So we'll capture the image, and it launches the batch file. and launches the batch file again. I'm going to bring over Windows Explorer and let's find those images. And here they are. So that's it. That's how you use automated post-processing and batch files in Control Icon. Happy tethering.